Okay, Hale, Teresa Dell here. Real Road and Random Insight with Teresa. So on my last video, um, I did say that let's just have a little fun. Let's play with tarot and check how foreign currency is doing. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do it. So I have right now this this deck with me. This is um, actual, the authentic tarot design work from um, the Rider Waite deck. And it's been recolorized and on it is really a beautiful deck. Um, with the traditional symbolism and everything. So I'm just going to flip a little here. Let's have some fun. Now, I did take some notes preliminary to this, so I'm kind of curious as to um, uh, how this turns out, this reading turns out in comparison to in comparison <laughs> to the notes I took. So, okay, let's do the first one. We're going to do um, a subject card, which typically is the first card I draw. And I like to do a four card spread and it gives me, you know, for just general, for as a general spread. So a four card spread and the first card is typically just um, a card that uh, focuses on the subject at hand. So we're going to take a look at the ruble. Let's take a look at the ruble. We're going to do the first card is the general card. That is the subject matter. We're going to see how parallel it is. All right. It's kind of fun. Tarot is mind blower. I don't, I don't look at it as anything other than a total communication. You know, when I had a shit, when I was a chef, I had extremely sharp knives and I used them to uh, create with tarot. I have a real sharp mind and I just use it to communicate. Okay, it's that simple. They're little tools of communication to me. So the first card that comes out is um, the that actually fell out, and I don't I don't want to use the drop out here. So um, let's try again. So let's look at a card. The question is status of the ruble. Let me see the status of the ruble. Okay, we're going to do a, um, a subject card, and then we're going to have three cards, past, present, future. So show me the ruble. Whoops, here we go. So let's use it. Oh, look at the ruble. Isn't that interesting? This is a card that can mean a couple different things. Typically, um, the five of wands is, some people say it's a conflict card. It's a card of... Um, you know, a uh, fighting and all that kind of stuff, which for the sake of what's going on up in that area, it makes a lot of sense that, um, you know, it, there may have been fluctuations in the ruble. Absolutely. Global fluctuations because of, um, you know, Croatia, you know, the things going on there and people, the countries that agree or disagree. So this is very interesting that this comes out as the subject card. So we're going to set that down and I'm going to pull a past, present, future card. Pardon me, a past, present, future card. So this is you're going to find out why this Gemini, Gemini, the communicative mind, the ever inquisitive, <laughs> finds tarot fascinating. So we're going to do a past, present, future. Past going, let's just go back um, three months. Okay, three months back, three months forward, and then present, of course. So give me a past, present, future. I'm going to do a little cut here. One, two, three. This way, and this way. First card up, past position is the chariot. There's some movement, okay? About three months back, there's some movement in the monetary um, or in the value of the ruble, okay? There's some activity there. Maybe it was going forward a little bit. Check your notes, okay? Go online. Google has some great currency sources. But anyway, so it looks like the chariot. There is some movement, and you see the the black and white that's kind of um, balancing out each other. It could also mean yin and yang. It could mean a lot of things, the dark and the light. Um, in this case, I think there was some, there's some kind of movement forward perhaps over the, about three months ago or so within the last three months. So the second card that comes up is the moon. Hmm. A lot of mystery. Presently, a lot of mystery with the ruble. Okay. What's going on with it? Hmm. All right. I think there's something going on behind the scenes. All right. Um, and, uh, I'll be honest with you. I think they're worried. I think they really are worried right now. Um, but not saying so. All right. Because the, the global powers don't like to talk about it when they're weak because they know that makes them vulnerable anyway. So this is what we have for the present position of the ruble for the future position. What I see is death. Okay. Now the death card can just mean inevitable change. All right. Or something's going to happen. All right. Now it could be anything. It could be anything economic. It could be, it could be related to the war. You know, it could be related to anything. But this is interesting that in the future position we get the death card. 
So in, in this circumstance, I think that means some significant change coming soon. I mean, very, very soon. So, um, so basically just take note of that. All right. So there's the ruble. So we just look at the ruble and um, it'd be interesting. Just take some notes because like I said, this is for entertainment purposes only because of the platform I'm on. But I, mean, <laughs> I didn't mean to mock that, but I did mean to mock that, you know, I mean, entertainment purposes only, but it's kind of fun to take note and just see, uh, you know, is this accurate? So we did the ruble. I'm going to pause just a minute, shuffle the cards real good, and then we'll pull the yen. Is is it pronounced yen? I always heard it pronounced yen. Some people say yen. <laughs> I'm going to go with yen, okay? So hold on, and I'm going to shuffle a little bit, and then we'll pull some yen, all right? Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Told ya. Anyway, so I did a sh some shuffles. What we're going to do now is um, just a little bit of a different kind of shuffle here just to give it a little bit more refinement. Um, so the next thing we're going to pull is, um, isn't this interesting? It just fell out. I'm going to use this one. So the subject matter is the yen and I pull an Empress card as the subject matter. Just think about that on a political scale. This is really, really interesting. Um, fertility, okay, uh, China has done really well with their money in the past, but just look at that, the Empress card, okay, the embodiment of so many different things, um, second only to the Emperor. Um, this is very interesting. <laughs> this is the card that comes out for the subject card for the Chinese Yen. So let's go ahead and throw some more or do a little bit more hand shuffle here and a split or a yeah, a draw. Here we go. One, two, three decks. Stack them back that way. Pull the top card. We're looking for the status of the yen three months back, present three months forward, three months back. Um, looks like there's just some celebration, some happiness a few months back. Now, again, check your notes. Go online and look at the currency back a few months, present and forward, and just see if these were right. Um, as I said, I'm doing this for fun because I think it's a great subject matter to start with since we're playing right now. Um, but this is celebration. This is things looking good for them a few months back. And, and, um, I'm curious, I'm going to take a look too, to see how accurate that were. There's a celebration. There was a lot of, uh, harmony. They were feeling on top of the world. Um, the 1111 card is also known as the four of wands is also known as the 1111 card. You can't get wrong with 1111. Okay. Anyway, so that's past for the end. Present for the end. I see burdens. Okay, I see some burdens. Um, you know, they're there. This is the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and I see uh, some drudgery, some burdens. Um, maybe that means that things aren't moving, things have gotten heavy, they're a little scared, they're watching their dollars, whatever the case may be, or watching their yen, whatever the case may be. I see some kind of burdens around that right now. Okay, so let's put that aside and we'll see if that's accurate. I think it is. And then we have the Four of Wands or the Four of Swords, Four of Swords. Okay. Swords um, in astrology would be air signs, okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The four of swords, which is not real relevant right here, but it's also about intellectual thought, a whole lot of thought, okay? Um, so the four of swords, if you see, this person is laying rest, is just laying um, supine, all right? The swords above, and then this ace of swords on the bottom, though, this one sword on the bottom is like the support, Okay, the support, um, which tells me that in the near future, within about three months, China right now is kind of just chilling a little bit. Okay, maybe they're just chilling. Maybe there's not a whole lot of movement right now, or they don't want to do anything really alarming or anything right now that's going to affect the yen. All right, but they're gonna they're gonna try to stand on the foundation where they are now. Let's see if this endures, if this kind of is the, the situation for them over the next three months. Now, I could be translating this incorrectly because this is not the first time I've played with currency, but it is um, it is a fun subject. I usually go, you know, play with real life events and all and not just like this isn't nor my normal area, but, I, but this sounds kind of interesting. So we'll see if this is accurate for the yen. Okay, what I just gave you. So hold on a minute. Let's do the US dollar. I'm going to pause a second and I'll be right back.
Hi, I'm back. So now we're going to look at the U.S. dollar. Then we'll look at the, we'll look at euro. Okay. So right now the U.S. dollar. I just did a shuffle. I'm going to do just a tiny bit more shuffle. This is my thing. I want to make sure because when I hand shuffle like this, see, I could do individual couple cards. But when you, when you do a lap shuffle or a table shuffle, um, sometimes it's like a big chunks of cards, and I don't feel like it mixes them up well enough. So I follow through with this shuffle. Now, interesting in the past position. Oh man. You're going to be blown away. Okay, so in the past position, we have justice. Okay, now what's going on with justice in the United States? All right, there are a lot of things affecting our dollar right now. And it does have to do with the hierarchy in the United States. Um, of course, you know, of course. Um, but anyway, so this is very interesting. So there is a big shift within the last three months to the value of our dollar. We all know it. We all feel it. Okay. Um, and so this is a card in the past position. Um, I'm sorry, let me correct myself. This is a subject matter. All right. In the past position. So this is a subject matter, the U S dollar justice. Okay. We're all seeking justice. That's what I should be saying. We're all seeking justice in the past position. Guess what comes up? The devil, the devil represents corruption. Okay. This is within the last three months, the effect on the U S dollar, the devil represents corruption. It, um, addictions, um, just everything, every kind of addiction, um, ill intent, poor judgment. I mean, it could mean all kinds of things, most of them negative. All right. So then the last three months says the devil stepped in. Okay. And it could have been before, but for sure over the last three months, the devil stepped in. All right. And it has had serious impact on our dollar. Now, wasn't there a, um, yeah, there's a crash or something. I don't know. It's not a crash, an increase. Um, yeah, a, a serious impact on the economy. And like I said, we're seeing, you know, even cheeseburgers at McDonald's look like tiny little thin quarter inch slabs and, you know, other food um, vendors or creators, purveyors, whatever, are also downsizing and, uh, you know, and increasing prices. It's just unbelievable. So the devil stepped in within the last few months and had major impact on our dollar, the value of our dollar. So in the present position, <laughs> that should still be there, right? Um, strength. So we might be able to hold on for a little while here. Okay. Strength. It's saying, be strong. It's saying, be strong, hang on. All right. Hang on, do what you have to do to make it through. All right. I'm a big fan of prepping. I am a prepper. I have a lot of food and reserve in a storage shed. Um, outdoor emergency living supplies, first aid supplies. Um, you know, I, I'm strong. You know, I don't fear much. I really don't. I have fears, but they're not a big deal. They're silly fears to some. But anyway, like I, I'm afraid of being stuck on a bridge with a lot of traffic. I think maybe in a past life I was in a bridge collapse or something near. I don't know. But there's something about that that really unnerves me. But anyway, um, so long story short, right now, the situation is strength. Hang on. Okay. Just hang on and, um, you know, do the best you can with what you got. Okay. Hang on there. So the future position, U S dollar three months out from now, approximately ace of pentacles. Pentacles represent money. Okay. They, they represent money. So it looks like new opportunities coming. Okay. Some kind of positive change. Aces are always new beginnings. So in about three months, we might show some indications of some kind of shift or positive change in the U S dollar. All right. That will kind of make us all breathe a little easier. Okay. And be able to enjoy a little more. Maybe we'll be adjusting to it. Maybe something good will happen. A major shift that'll be to our advantage. That's what this is. Remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. But take note, all right? Because I'm curious if this is accurate, all right? Anyway, so we got that far. The next thing we're going to do is Euro, all right? So I'm going to pause the camera again, and then um, I'm going to pop Euro. And we'll see, those are the three, what, four of the major currencies in the world. So, um, you know, we're going to check them out, okay? Hold on. I'm having fun too, by the way. Okay, so I did my lap shuffle. <laughs> Let's do the hand shuffle here just a little bit. These are really pretty cards. Look at that. Recolorized Rider, Rider Waite tarot cards. Um, I have fun with them. I don't memorize the, the suggested, well, not suggested, but the, the, any every card. I just understand the basic symbolism. I am an intuitive reader. 
I trust the intuition connected to these cards. And, and they're just fun. Like I said, they're a fun way to communicate. Um, let's take a look now. So we want to know um, past, present, puro, puro. <laughs> past, present, future of Euro. Okay. Past, present, future of Euro. So give me a subject card, please. Oops. Is this it? <laughs> the lovers. Wow, right? I, I just find this interesting because, um, you know, like monarchies and all, the lovers, keeping it in the family, you know, or whatever the case may be. So I find it interesting that the subject card is Euro and also... You know, there's those long distance romances and stuff that you always hear about across the Atlantic, across the puddle, whatever. Anyway, but I find this inner, and that is also the card of Gemini. There's a lot of interesting reasons um, for this card to be the one that pops up. And um, so basically, I think I like it. And I like it because of the symbolism of the monarchy. Okay, so let's take a look at Euro. This is the subject card, the lovers for Euro. What a really interesting card, huh? Anyway, so um, let's look at past. Please give me some kind of uh, three months past, approximately three months past status of Euro. Give me something to look at. Give us some ideas. Three months past, because we want to do our homework and see if I'm if I'm uh, translating this subject correctly. Remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> You're going to hear that over and over again. <laughs> I do tarot. It's like, who cares? Come on. There's this thing called natural law. Anything that pulls up in tarot can be trumped. Anyway, so hold on. By one earthquake or, you know, fire, flood, something like that. Okay, so, like COVID changed a whole lot of weddings that were planned. Those poor people wound up having to go to the courthouse. <laughs> you know, honestly, just get their paperwork done. Anyway, so, okay, so past position. Tell me a little about Euro. Three months past. Okay, give me a card. This one's talking to me right here. Ooh, the Wounded Warrior. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. That's often referred to as the Wounded Warrior card because wands are about action. All right, and so something tells me about three months back there might have been a little bit of problem um, with the value of the euro maybe this is in comparison to us dollar um it, it could very well be i'm not sure like how much they could get in the us with their money or whatever um i'm not real sure but but in it they could have been affected by a lot of other things too there is um a whole lot of problems going on uh anyway so an interesting wounded warrior three months past for euro this is an interesting card to come up if you think about it politically. Okay, now give me another card. Yes, I do have some brains up here. Well, actually, I have one brain and there's a few active cells. Okay, so let's take a look at the present position. Euro in the present. This one's wanting to come out. Okay, is the juice worth the squeeze? That's the seven of pentacles. Is the juice worth the squeeze? All that hard, hard work. All that damned hard work. Am I where I want to be? Am I where I want to be? Are we where we should be? Present status of Euro. Are we where we should be? Now, if you look at the unrest and all the different things, immigrants and all the different things that have gone on, um, you know, globally, this makes sense. Okay. This absolutely makes sense. Are we where we should be? Euro. Okay. All right. So present position for Euro. One more card. Future position, three months forward, okay? For entertainment purposes only. <laughs> I'm a brat. I really am. Um, show me the future position, future status of Euro three months forward. Now, take note, okay? Just take note, you know, your little sticky notes, put it on your fridge and say, Teresa said this. <laughs> and, and she reminded me it was for entertainment purposes only. So, excuse me, take note. Um, okay. Present or future potential for Euro three months out. There's a card talking to me right now. The Empress. Okay. So hopefully about three months forward, there might be the Euro might be in a more balanced, comfortable position than it is now. It may be more promising. It may be more fertile. All right, so that's the position of the future, um, possible potential 
position of the euro in the future. So if this was fun and exciting and real or anything like that to you, as the tarotists say on YouTube, please like. Just like and share. It will help me. I am going to go ahead and just try to do some more frequent. I've had a lot going on. It's been hard to pay a lot of attention to the channel. But I want it to be a channel that's mixed because there's so many of you with so many interests out there someone's going to go wait I got to see what she has going on today or you know or you might get a pop-up or whatever but just you know just remember it's for entertainment purposes only no matter how real things might resonate all right anyway so you all take care this has been fun today um, I'm going to pop in a little bit later probably this evening I have a herb crafters tarot deck which is super neat herb crafters tarot of course I have that I'm a naturopath anyway so um I'm going to pull it out later on today, probably around bedtime and all, and uh, just pull a random card. And if it resonates with all of you, it, the cards will have descriptive meanings about a life event or something like that. And then it has a booklet where I could read to you what that means and what healing um, type of uh, what healing type of therapy or. Um, treatments that might be suggested to correct this problem if that's what you have so it's just gonna be a random but i bet it resonates with somebody anyway so you all take care thanks for your time i hope you found this interesting all right we're gonna do this some more okay all right we'll see you bye